Any food that came out of the ground has fiber because that's what allows the food to get out of the ground. So fiber is in fruits. Yes, fructose is in fruits too, but the fiber reduces the absorption. And so it makes that fructose less of a burden and safe. Fiber is in vegetables, stringy vegetables, not as much for starchy vegetables, uh, green vegetables. And of course, if you eat green vegetables, you're gonna get all those antioxidants also, which are good for you as well, because they're gonna take care of the reactive oxygen species we spoke about earlier. Animal products do not have fiber, contrary to popular opinion. So you have to basically restrict yourself to produce. Now, does bread have fiber? And the answer is very few. Some breads do because they're made from grain and wheat has fiber until the mill takes it away. So if you take a wheat berry and you measure the weight of the husk, which is the fiber, against the weight of the endosperm, which is the starch in the center, turns out the fiber is 25% of the kernel, 25%. So in order to find a high fiber bread, you have to look at the total carbohydrate to dietary fiber ratio on the side of the package. And you have to do the calculation yourself because they're not gonna do it for you. If the total carbohydrate to fiber ratio is three to one to five to one, then that is a high fiber bread. And that is a bread worth eating for its metabolic benefits. Anything above that means that the fiber has been stripped out. And even if they call it a high fiber bread, it's not. Even if they call it a whole grain bread, it's not. Because they can call it whole grain if they started with whole grain before they did the pulverization and got rid of the husk. So just because it's brown doesn't make it good. You actually have to look at the fiber content of the bread. So, what breads are high fiber breads? You can go to Whole Foods or to specialty grocery stores and look for German fitness bread as an example. So this is bread that is a pound, but it is like a brick. It's thin and it's small and it is dense. It has very high fiber. It's cut very thin and it makes a really lousy sandwich. And the reason is because there's not that much gluten in it to hold it together. If you go to the grocery store, the breads are twice or to four times the size. They're all puffed up. Those are high gluten breads. They make a terrific sandwich, but they have all had their fiber stripped out and they all have carbohydrate to fiber ratios of eight to one to 10 to one. Those are the breads that are not metabolically worth eating. 